thank you for joining us today to discuss this recent news about the suspension of a nuclear treaty between the United States and Russia. It is important to understand um, the implications of this news, okay, and what it means for the future of the relationship between these two countries. In this um, presentation, I will discuss what to expect from Russia after the nuclear treaty suspension. First of all, uh, we must consider the current state of the relationship between the United States and Russia. It is it's no secret that uh, the two countries have had a strained relationship for many years. And this has only been further because of this war, complicated by the recent news, you know what I'm saying? And um, second, it is important to understand how Russia may react to the treaty suspension. Russia will likely take a more aggressive stance in diplomatic uh, relations and military actions, as they may view uh, this as a sign of hostility from the United States. Third, uh, it is also important to consider how um, Russia must, may use the treaty suspension to their advantage. It is likely that Russia will attempt to, to use this opportunity to strengthen their home position in international negotiations and also further their own geopolitical goals. All right? Finally, it is important to, to also remember that the treaty suspension is not permanent. There is still a chance that uh, the two countries may be able to reach a new agreement in the future, and relations between the two countries can improve, of course. Now, uh, what's next? Pres President Vladimir Putin said on Tuesday that uh, Russia was suspending its participation in the New START treaty with the United States that limits the two sides' strategic nuclear arsenals. Putin stressed that uh, Russia was not withdrawing from the treaty, but uh, the suspension further imperils the last remaining pillar of armed control between the United States and Russia, which uh, between them hold nearly 90% of the world's nuclear warheads, enough to destroy the planet many times over. In this regard, I am forced to announce today that Russia is suspending its participation in the Strategic Offensive Arms Treaty, Putin said. He told the lawmakers at the end of a, a major speech to parliament, nearly one year into the war in Ukraine. Putin said Russia's nuclear energy company, Rosatom, must also ensure the country's readiness to test a nuclear weapon if needed, if necessary. He said, and I am quoting, of course, we will not be the first to do this, but if the United States tests, then we will, and he said, no one must be under any dangerous illusions that global strategic parity can be destroyed, Putin said. This treaty, uh, which is called the New Star Treaty, was signed in Prague, Czech Republic's capital, in 2010. It came into force the following year and was extended in 2021 for five more years, just after U.S. President Joe Biden took the office. It caps the number of strategic nuclear warheads that the United States and Russia can deploy. And the deployment of uh, land and submarine-based missiles and bombers to deliver them. Russia has the largest stockpile of nuclear weapons in the world, with close to 6,000 warheads, experts says. Analysts said Russia is move meant um, it would become more difficult to uh, verify continued compliance with the treaty. Well, suspension of the treaty does not equal leaving the, the treaty, hopefully. There will be no Russian buildup, you know, above the treaty limits, hopefully. But it will be very hard to very uh, to verify, you know, this only national technical means, 
So compliance will be disputed. Okay, Russian will not allow anyone to see what they have and don't have. So now this is going too far. All this could have been avoided, but I guess this world is is more lean toward war than peace. NATO is definitely a disgrace. Everything it touches comes with the plague. Okay, Putin in his speech said, uh, without providing evidence that the West was directly involved in Ukrainian attacks on bases uh, for Russian strategic bomber planes deep inside in Russian territory. That's another problem. They also said that NATO demands that uh, Russia should allow inspection of its nuclear bases under the new START treaty and were therefore absorbed. You know, the U.S. and NATO openly say that uh, their goal is to inflict a strategic defeat on Russia. And what after that? They are going to drive around our defense facility, including uh, including the, the newest one, as if nothing had happened, Putin said during his, 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 you know, his speech. And a week ago, I signed a decree on Putin, a uh, new ground-based strategic system, on combat duty, are they going to stick together? Uh, going to stick their nose in there, or going too far? What they think that everything is simple? What are uh, what are we going to let them in there just like that? Putin said, you know, NATO members, France and Britain, also they had the nuclear you know weapons aimed at Russia, and that should be talking. I mean, that should be taken in, in account. That's main um, thing of Putin. This war needs to reinvent itself, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, we are actually moving toward the final destination. All because of a few idiots running running the show, I guess. There must be common sense and less stupid military leaders in the U.S., Europe, and Russia should probably, you know, they should probably take over at some point because these politicians are going too far. You know, we hope that uh, this presentation has provided some insight into um, what to expect from Russia after the nuclear treaty suspension. Thank you for, for joining us today and um, have a great day. We hope that everything going to be fine.